Hello and welcome to ARCA at Kevin Harvick's Kern Raceway, as it's known now. Uh, previously referred to as Kern County. I guess I'm just going to shorten it to Kern from now on. Uh, we are here in the ARCA car, and uh, we've got a bit of a loose setup here, it feels like. I'm a bit surprised at uh, how free it is, but it's pretty fun to drive, if not just challenging. Uh, but hey, that can go hand in hand sometimes. Uh, so long as you don't spin out. Chad's in here. He runs 73rd brake bias, interestingly. I've been running 68, but uh, I don't blame him for running the 73. I'm not going to change the last second here because I practiced and slowly moved my way up to 68 because by default I usually put my brake bias down. But uh, I can definitely see that being the way to go. It is certainly loose. One more lap. Guess that time will do. We'll see if we can get a faster second lap. If uh, that lap time was 18.5. Tires have warmed up enough. I'm very nervous on the throttle here. We'll probably drive in harder, and that might help. But uh, we'll get a 504. The flag. Although I think maybe if I attack the entry a little bit more it might help, so maybe that's where that 73% brake bias comes in. If you attack the entry, use that seam. I do feel like you want to run the lane up because it just gets a little bit too loose down there at the bottom lane. Like, I'll run it here. See, see how it feels, but especially on the exit, it feels like you can't get the throttle down. And it gets really uh, light on you. And uh, while I was practicing, I noticed it seems like the uh, car's going to get looser as the race goes on. So I'm going to be very focused on being gentle on these oh my God, exits for that reason exactly. Like even when I was being gentle. Uh, I'm going to try not to put too much wheel in it. Wow, this thing's crazy on the exits, man. That's wild. Okay, so... I gotta be careful about that, and every time I slide it, it's gonna get worse. So I'm gonna try to avoid sliding it as much as possible. This is gonna be challenging. Um, I'm just still getting back into it. This is my first. This is probably the most challenging race combo I've done in officials since returning after a while. And it's going to be just that, a big challenge, so we'll see how it goes. I hope I don't spin myself out. There's a non-zero chance of that. We've fallen to fourth. The one car with a .3, that's, that's really fast. Um, not too surprising, though. I've seen his name at the front of the list plenty of times before. And uh, Chad with a P2 time, he's got a good feel for it. Maybe I'd move my brake bias forward just a little bit. He sends us good luck as well. I'm going to move it forward just a little bit. I'm still not going to fully commit moving all the way up, but just with how loose that is. I mean, you can see right rear, hotter and more worn than the right front after those couple of laps we did. And I think it's going to continue going that way as the race goes on, so... P5 at the moment. I think I might actually prefer an outside start, but uh, P5 would be just fine too. We are here in a 2.3 strength of field, although it's pretty heavy on the top. I mean, the uh, number one car is a 6.7, and we are the third as a 5.7. And of course, Chad, a very respectable 3.4K is the five car. And uh, full field here with 22. All the way down to 1.5k, so lots of different skill levels. We could end up with lap traffic, could end up uh, having to be very careful and doing some avoiding. Because um, I, I definitely expect guys to start spinning, getting loose, getting into each other with how difficult this is. And I remember watching Nick's race, and uh, there was a lot of action in that one that he was thankfully able to avoid, but it certainly almost found him. So we'll see how this goes. We got 20 seconds to go here. A um, couple people have not readied up. 
thinking we're going to stick in this P5 spot, and that'll be just fine. 15 car with a P3 time. They're a D licensed driver. D3.4, 1.7 uh, I rating. That's the end of the session. So P5. very uh, fast time for them. They're, you can see they're the highest double-digit number by far on the list. So hopefully they have themselves a good run and are able to keep it together. Just sticks out to me as notable. A potentially newer driver with a D license. Showing uh, to be very fast. So good luck to him. Hopefully uh, yeah, I don't have to dodge him or anything during the race. Pit road is closed. And instead they can have a good run and probably outperform me. I like Kern it's County a lot. It reminds me of Richmond, which is probably one of my favorite short tracks. And uh, that has everything to do with the fact that uh, Richmond kind of doesn't run like a short track. Um, kind of like uh, the intermediate of short tracks, some might say. And uh, I think Kern County's got some of those feelings as well. But uh, a lot of short track characteristics as well. Just uh, with the unique kind of shape around the corners, the you know elevation changes that may not come across on video too much, but it does uh, kind of go uphill and downhill on the front and uh, back stretch. Did they add laps to this race? I thought this was just a 40 lap race. Uh, 45 laps all week, man. And uh, we will indeed start P5, so be on the inside. Yeah, have to really be careful three. not to turn the wheel too much and spin out. Especially as the um, tires are cold. Martin. Hopefully no one uh, has trouble around us and we can just keep Martin, it even, keep it calm. Oh gosh, the, uh, the 15 in front of us is a Dale Earnhardt scheme too. That's always a bit of a, <laughs> a worrying sign. But uh, hey, maybe he'll prove uh, prove the stereotype the wrong. In the inside column. Here's hoping, because he's directly in front of me. Here we find out what gear we're starting in. It's looking like it's probably a second gear start. Uh, actually, it's getting pretty high rev. Now we're slowing down. Yeah, second gear start looks like. I think I'm happy with that. We'll have to uh, we'll have to be ready to shift pretty quick, I think. Bit nervous, but as long as I can uh, do what I can do and keep the thing from sliding around, I think I'll be happy. Things could still go wrong, but. As long as I'm not the one spinning myself, I think I'll be okay and happy with my performance. Getting started Look. here this lap, 45 of them here. Get ready, going green. Okay, Both car is off, time to do your job. job. Guy was not Make ready at all green. in front of us. That's too bad. Oh my god, she slams on the brakes. Car outside. Still there. Outside, clear. Car outside. Sixth place. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Turner outside. Hoping to clear him. Still there, hold your line. The leader has just done. Get back in tears. Keep like the guy behind has just done a 19 points. Slow car down low. Oh, we got slow cars down low. Well, that's yeah, nerve wracking. Guy holding on to her outside, not letting it go. Losing some time. Clear. Finally clear, and it looks like. Alright. That's what I needed. Get single file. Got behind getting loose, that gives us some space. Which I'm thankful for. Need a little bit of breathing. 
15 ahead gets into the wall. We got lap traffic all over the place. Oh my gosh, guys spinning, crashing. He is going here. We're going to do the high line at Curran. All right, that was interesting. Outside. Still there. Clear high. Get around all that. I just kind of had to drive where they weren't. Attack is leading the race. Looks like we're all lead lap cars in front of us now, but they are side by side battling. You've just done a eighteen point eight. Fifteen to the inside of Chad, it looks like, blinking a bunch. Probably causing some heart attacks for everybody involved. Didn't take long for lap traffic to come into a factor. Uh, got some door banging on the end of the straightaway there. Don't think that was intentional. a little bit low by accident. I see smoke. Lap traffic probably have more issues. Car inside. Still inside. Clear the outside of Chad there, just for a second. Stay high. Still there. Still there. Still there. You're in fourth position. Still there. Car stop down low. Car stop down low. That's a scary thing to hear right now. Too wide. Looks like we're okay. So we'll get that pass done. Hopefully not ruining our tires. Kind of don't mind running a little uh, harder on entry and a little higher up the track, even if it means burning our right front, because all in all signs indicated that we'd probably be on our right rear by the end of this thing. P4 not so bad though right now. We can see the leader as well. He's probably running to a pace, not really trying to pull away or anything, but still within eyesight, which makes me feel good. 15 getting loose, getting into the wall. We will have to potentially get around this guy at some point, which scares me a little with the fact he's kind of taken both lanes. Slid that a little bit, I didn't want to do that. Gonna cut in front of us, even though I kind of got there. Inside, still there, clear inside. Not sure how I'm gonna get around him. You kind of just have to hope for a mistake.
He's held it together the past couple of laps, though. He's definitely fast when he does. Starting to feel a little bit of pull there. Gotta be careful. Almost got it loose. Seeing more smoke. Every time I see that, I'm scanning the horizon for danger. to do about this 15 man car inside stay high there's a car on the low side coming up on lap traffic here. in front of us you're now in third still inside you're in the middle three wide clear inside two wide you're in the middle three wide that was dangerous I admit it lap car was there though not backing off so More lap traffic here in the 13. Hopefully we have a little easier time getting around. That last lap was a 19.3. I think the 13's spinning back there. I think it was the 13, the guy that was in the Neil Earnhardt scheme. I saw something happen back there. Be nice if this guy went high here. Don't think he is Outside. though. Keep low. Car He's gonna hold on high. for some reason. Clear outside. Go low. Car sitting in the middle of the track. So maybe it's good we weren't up high. Coming to 15 to go, with the closest guy on our lap, the four car there in the blue. Kevin Harvick there, <laughs> right in front of us is a lap car. Alright, easy now. It gets really loose on that scene. Was high for us. Crest feeling kind of tight, actually. I might have overdone it with the driving hard, but at least I'm not spinning out, I guess. As long as I'm careful with the scene, this does get some good turn. Turn at Kern. Maybe I take a little bit more of the scene. That was. I just entered way too hard. I slid through the corner. Inside. It's not gonna look on the inside. Still there at the bottom. Clear. Low car up high. So car up high. Car inside. Clear. Well, got loose, it looked like. Got ten left I'm kind of wishing I had more break by his back at this point. It helped early, but now I feel like I wish I had a little more turn at Kern. Inside. Probably just need to hit the pedal a little harder, though. Clear. Doing okay holding off Chad with this 
middle lane. Imagine it's gonna be hard to pass as long as we keep it consistent here. Oh man. That seam though is still dangerous. Even even if the car's tight, the seam really causes issues. Outside. outside is clear. Lap time was 19.5. Ooh, lap car almost bouncing off the wall, it looked like. That turn two exit can really sneak up on you because of, I guess it's going uphill at that time. Something about it makes it feel like that wall jumps out at you. That lap was at 19.6. Don't think we're going to gain any more here, but P3 is feeling pretty good. If we're able to hold on to it, Chad has something to say about that, I'm sure. Five to go, but he's right there. Actually, no, that's the number two Five car. To go. Good. Getting loose, that's bad. Traffic still in front of us. Would be exactly what we don't need right now if I can't get around him. Car inside. Stay high. Clear inside. Got two laps to go. fighting for our inside now. Two laps to go. Inside. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. You've just done Still a inside. Push. We might get third here. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. Car inside. Did we give him enough on the bottom the lane? Someone's spinning or something. Clear inside. Colton, one more to go. Keep it together. We'll be Inside. on the podium. That was a 19.7. Clear. Inside. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Oh, he almost got us. Wow. Why is he flying into us for freaking third? Well done, you kidding me? Oh, it's like All I just right. got you off. Nice run. Solid work. Not necessary for third to freaking door someone down the straightaway. A little rough. I figured it out a little bit there, kid. But whatever. Third place is the best he's gonna get in his life, so <laughs> apparently he needs to door someone for it. 9187, so we were in the right rear like I expected. <sighs> yeah, it was fun. I don't agree with dooring me for the win for the third place, but Alright, so we'll go back and uh, look at the incidents. Alright, so he just got a little bit too into it, I understand. 
I, I appreciate you said something about it. I, I take it back. I take it back. I said mean things. I, I regret them now. <laughs> We're fine. Short tracks. I'm just not uh, much of a short track racer, so maybe I don't get the mentality. <laughs> I'm one of those guys who has no talent and can only really perform on intermediates. <laughs> so, all right. Lap two, we got some blink. Oh, some blinking and then some spinning. So we had simultaneous spins here, unrelated. So the 16 blinks, and when he comes back, he's kind of snapping off the exit there, which is so easy to do. And uh, further proof, the 14's doing it at the same time. And unfortunately, the 9 just at the exact wrong place at the wrong time. Nine gets put into the wall, that sucks. So lap three. Fifteen's gonna blink a little bit. He had a little bit of connection issues, not, not not too bad. Uh, SpongeBob. Right into the back of looks like Dale Jarrett there. <laughs> That's unfortunate. You just like can't touch at all. In these uh, in these cars, unfortunately, which makes these uh, short track races really touchy. More snaps off the corner, kind of how I was expecting. I got close a couple times, feeling like it was wanting to snap over to the side. Sixteen, right in for the leaders. It looks like. Oh yeah, this is where I had to go around. So I don't know if I had a better option there, but I just know you know we're coming as a lead pack. He's crashing right in front of everybody, and I'm like, I'm seeing like this wall of cars down here. I'm like, I don't know if I can go down there. So I just <laughs> I went outside. Probably not the right place to go, but it felt weird to just drive like full throttle toward what, what like five cars down here. And then it was almost bad because the 16 almost just stayed by the wall. So it was probably a bad decision by me. <laughs> but I guess it I guess it all worked out in the end. 16 doesn't know where he's going, man. I don't know what he's doing. He's just sitting right in front of traffic. He said, uh, I remember in the open practice beforehand, he was like, I just bought the track, so he's still learning it, I guess. <laughs> Looks like he was learning where pit road entrance is, too. As uh, the 15 blinks once more. That, uh... Same claiming another victim on the exit there, as it tends to do. Yikes. Really struggling. Some guys really having a, a tough time holding on to it. I'm gonna grab the wall a little bit. 16 struggles continue. Looks like he went and got himself a new car. Although he's actually just blinking at this particular moment. Lots of blinking in this race. 19, though, is going for a, oh, a spin and a major overcorrect. That is a KO'd kitty cat race car. Whatever that is. Some cat food car or something. Um, I have 33, 15's still in front of me. I know he has some sort of issue at some point. 17, stopping in the middle of the track. I don't know what you do at that point, because... I think you probably... You keep spinning to the inside since there's some room behind you, but instead of just sitting right in the racing groove, but you also don't want to drive down and hit the wall, so. Just a tough spot for the 17 there. And they've got no turn, their car's completely broken, so that might have affected how much they were actually able to do anyway after it all happened. 18's having trouble turning as well. That thing was not turning at all. Team getting loose. Into the inside wall. And then here we are getting doored. It's shoved into the wall. I don't know if uh, if we would have got him otherwise. He gets loose. He really went for it. I think he probably had us anyway. I just, like, from my perspective, I'm just driving. I'm like, oh, we're having a cool side-by-side -side finish, and all of a sudden I'm shoved into the wall, and I'm like, really? Is that necessary? 
And then uh, I said mean things, which I apologize for, because <laughs> he was nice afterward. So I didn't mean any of it. Just hard racing. Um, I probably wouldn't do that for third place. I, I might do a little bit of that for the win. That's why I'm kind of like, really, for third place? But uh, understandable. He was having fun, too. Got excited. And I was like, I want to I get this spot. And uh, <laughs> decides to body me, which, whatever. Zero X, didn't matter, he gets the spot, but uh, I gave him a little tap like, Ugh, what you doing, man? Didn't want to spin him, actually, he did more than I thought <laughs> I thought it was going to do. I meant to like just like tap him from behind, but uh, even that tiny tap really uh, kills these cars, really throws them for a loop. <laughs> Oops. Was not supposed to look that dramatic. Gotta remember what car I'm in. You can't give someone a tap on the bumper, it explodes. So, alright, 9187 again was the tire situation. Um, I think it did help to be patient um, on the throttle. Although it did feel a little bit tight, too, which was interesting. So, you gotta think about both front and back ends of the tires as we'll go look at the race results here. Does that show up for you? I think I have to press a button first. Is this it? There it is. All right. Race results page. So we will get five I rating for our fourth place finish. So close. So, so close to uh, getting third. Six one thousandths of a second. Uh, end of the day, whatever. Third, fourth. Doesn't matter too much. Uh, the guy was a 6,000 plus I rating guy, so he uh, was supposed to finish ahead of us anyway. Number one kicks the field's butt. <laughs> as uh, I've seen him do before very fast and uh, Chad back there in fifth had a great run as well good racing with him as always uh, we'll get 124 championship points for our effort which is a solid day at the track I will definitely take that so all right I believe that will do it I think that's everything to talk about for that one and I get that out out of our faces and uh, say thank you for watching I uh, <laughs> got a little bit of the short track track fever there for a second after the guy doored me uh, again apologies to him i take back saying like oh he, he never does better than that like if he obviously he does he's a 6,000 i rating guy he probably wins every other race he does that's just me being a stinker for <laughs> getting doored so a uh, good race with him and uh, with everybody else it was a fun race overall i will take it and i'm glad i'm not one of these guys that got a bunch of incidents and uh for example like the nine and got hooked Easily could have been me. So uh, I'll, I'll take it. Good day of the track. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.